Hi guys, I am, I just made literally breakfast. I made a bagel sandwich with egg and a sausage, and then I have some raspberries and a thing of coffee. I am set, I'm ready. I have my decks here because um, I'm going to be doing the weekly energy readings. I'm gonna be filming, filming those after I eat. Um, so I'm really happy and excited for that. And I don't have my little box to put these on. Maybe I can balance it on the decks. Uh, they're kind of uneven, but let's see if this will work. <laughs> um, I just didn't feel like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work. I didn't feel like getting my box. Oh, well that can work. It's barely, it's barely hanging on there on that one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I didn't feel like setting up the whole box deal and all of that, so. Mm. Oh, that's a bitter raspberry. I wanted, um, ooh, not sure if I like that. Ugh. They're probably not in season, that's probably why they're gross. Um, ooh, if that's, if they're all like that, mm-mm. <laughs> I won't be eating them. Mm, okay, that one's not that bad. Ooh. Um, so yeah, I it's been a while. Well, it hasn't been that long, but it's been a while. Sorry, excuse the, the recyclables behind me. <laughs> a lot of you guys think it's trash. The trash is over here. That's our recyclables, so we put like our plastics and our cans. We just like kind of mix them together, and then I give them to my neighbor next door because she's a little old lady, and um, she, you know, asked if we recycle and whatnot and I guess like she was pinching pennies at times and so we we give her our recycling so I tell her yeah let me just collect it all in a bag and then I give it to her and she can divide it up or whatever she wants to do with it so <laughs> just a nice little thing for us to do because you know we usually just put the recyclables in the in the bin outside mm. And um, I figure if she could use it and make some money off of it, why not? So, um, how have you guys been? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm going to be eating and talking at the same time. I had a, the plan to get up early this morning. And I wanted to get up early, eat breakfast early, and... I'll start filming some readings because hubby's he's asleep right now he got home around seven and i wanted to do all that you know film some readings and stuff so that by you know mid-afternoon i would have been whew, i would have been done with my readings but i woke up this morning with my sciatic nerve hurting me a lot <laughs> so i just felt like a pinching naggy pinching pain all the way down my right side of my butt down my leg and it was just so uncomfortable so i like was laying in bed stretching and stretching my leg out and then i stood up and i was like doing stretches because my mom has the same issue and she was telling me that her doctor tells her to do the you know to stretch and so i was doing stretches and whatnot and um i went back to sleep like my husband got home at seven and i just like he was eating, he came in, he made coffee for himself and stuff, and I just stayed in bed, and I napped, and I pretty much slept until nine. Mm, yeah, about nine. I set my alarm for myself because if my husband is asleep next to me, I'll naturally wanna stay asleep, you know? So that's the only thing that's like rough about the graveyard shifts with him is that when he's in bed, I have to tell myself, no. <laughs> like, I have to get out of bed because it's too tempting to want to just stay in bed and cuddle up and not do anything. And it's like, he needs to sleep because this is his time to sleep. But I'm like, no. So that's the only downfall of a graveyard shift. Our sleep schedules are opposites. So I my alarm went off at 9 I got up, showered. I needed to wash my hair, so I showered. Let, I'm just letting it air dry. 
and I was like, I'm gonna make a good breakfast. I need a good breakfast to get me going to do these readings. So hence why I'm having the just delicious breakfast sandwich. <laughs> it's so easy to make and it's so yummy and it fills me up. Probably won't even want lunch. Mm. So we have to return the rental before one. So I gotta wake him up in a couple hours. So he can go with me. <laughs> so I have a ride back. Otherwise I would just do it myself. Mm. And it's raining, you guys. So we're having a snowstorm a snowstorm. It's rolling in. Well, technically it's kind of here, but it's not gonna be snowing until Christmas, which is kind of nice because we're gonna have a white Christmas. Um if it snows, which I pretty much by the looks of the weather right now, it's gonna snow. Um, it's cold, it's like 40 something degrees, and it's been raining since about midnight. I remember I woke up last night and um, to use the restroom and you could hear like the rain hitting the roof and it sounds so pretty, so. <laughs> um, it's raining today, it's, it's not supposed to rain tomorrow and tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So if it's not gonna rain tomorrow and the weather doesn't show snow or anything on the pass, like where we drive down the hill, then we will be going down to um, my husband's parents' house. Um, or actually, it's, I think they're having Christmas at his brother's. And we're just gonna have like tamales and just celebrate, because we celebrate Christmas Eve. And then um, we're gonna drive back up before it's too late. And then, Hubby and I will have our Christmas here at the house. And then he works Christmas night. So when it's snowing, I'll be tucked away in the house. <laughs> Won't be going anywhere. Um, what else? Mm. I should put the crock the meat in the crock pot. Let me see, it's 10. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll be done by 4. I should do that. Maybe I'll have you guys watch me when I do that. Oh my gosh, but this is so good. It's like I don't even want to let, let this go. <laughs> okay. Mm. okay. I forgot all about that, you guys. Wearing my favorite flannel or flannel fleece. Fleece sweater. I love cooking with the crock pot. It is one of the easiest things in the world. <laughs> and anything easy is good for me. All right, so it's clean. So what I'm gonna be making is a pot roast because I bought one. I bought a pot roast for the intention of cooking it for Christmas. And um, when I was looking at the date to, you know, freeze by, it was freeze by tomorrow. So I was like, oh great. I'm not cooking this on Christmas day then. <clears throat> because I'm, there's no point. I mean, I guess I could technically cook it Christmas day, but we're, we're most likely gonna have leftover tamales if we go to his mom's. So I think we'll just, we'll just have roast tonight since he's gonna be home. Well, he goes to work, but he'll have something good to eat. So, roast, and then I think I'll make baked potatoes and maybe some frozen veggies. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah. Use or freeze by December 24. We'll just do it tonight. <laughs> All right. I always. 
always wash, rinse off my meat first. to put salt and pepper on it so I just like to put some salt and pepper on my pot roast I always hold my breath like or plug up my nose because <laughs> the pepper usually makes me sneeze and then I like to add salt so just it's kind of hard to get salt now that I have nails it's kind of funny Gets everywhere. <laughs> and then I like to add a cup of French onion soup to the top of it. You could also add potatoes and veggies and all that good stuff to the the roast, but I'm just gonna cook it like that because I wanna do baked potatoes. And I could just roll them up and put them in the oven later. So yeah, so you just pour the French onion. I like to put all over the surface of the meat and then anything extra will just roll off to the sides. And it's so good. <clears throat> and that's it. And then you put your lid on. And the whole house will smell delicious. <laughs> so I got salt everywhere. It's like all under my nails and it just splashed everywhere. So then, um, let's see. So it's 10. If I cook it for six hours, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4 or 6. If I cook it for eight hours. Six might be better because, I mean, four, eight hours might be better because 6 p.m. he can eat later and then um, he'll be fuller when he goes to work. <laughs> so I'll do that. All right, and that's it. So you just, I set it and it's good to go. Easy peasy. And then I, I just love when the I love when the house smells like pot rolls, like oh, so yummy. All right, let's get back to the breakfast. <coughs> so since we won't be eating till six, I think he's gonna want good lunch because he's gonna wake up hungry me eh, we'll see this will probably keep me full but <laughs> I know him he's gonna be hungry mm. Mm -hmm. so I'm so excited you guys I am so excited for um Whoa. See, that's what I was afraid of. I'm afraid of it falling. <laughs> it's gonna be top heavy. Okay, um, I'm super excited and I'm just excited for the fact that the new year is almost here and TCM is gonna be full time and I'm just like, I'm really, really hopeful that everything is going to go smoothly with that and I'm just so grateful and so thankful. Like. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> My husband keeps telling me like, if you get bored, you could find a job up here, find something to do up here. And I figured, yeah, it's like I can. Like that's, that's like plan B. If I can't 
stand being home all the, all the time, then yeah, <clears throat> then yes, um, you know, I can always find a job up here and take on a little part-time job or whatever, but that's only if, that's only if I absolutely can't stand it, but I have high hopes that I'm gonna be good, like being stay-at-home, what, how, what I call it, like a stay-at-home wifey, like a housewife, I mean, I'm still working, but I'm doing my thing, you know? But working from home, being home all the time, um, I'm gonna have to put myself in that position to take initiative to get out and to do things. And one of the things that I wanna do this new, new, this new year is like start getting myself on a very generalized workout plan um, to keep, get my body moving, you know, because I'm not going to be up on my feet as much as I was before when I was working. So going for walks around the neighborhood is one thing I'm going to be doing. And I'm probably going to bring you guys with me. <laughs> Either I do it as a vlog type of a video or I just have the audio on and I just talk. But, um, you know, I want to start doing walks and being a little bit more active doing some at-home workouts. I want to get myself a stationary bike. But those are the plans. Go out every so often. Take myself out of the house to go have lunch with myself or make friends up here. <laughs> make friends. <laughs> um... Or even just, you know, there's days like just because I'm up here and stuff doesn't mean that I can't ever go down the hill. I can always go drive down the hill and go visit my parents, and which I plan on doing at least once a week because I want to see them still. So go visit them once a week, you know. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think it's going to be a shock factor at first because I'm so used to having the job and like the, the paycheck coming in. But... I think I'll be okay. I'm used to spending so much time by myself that I feel like it's not gonna be sad. Like I'm not gonna get sad, sad. I think the only time I'm gonna get sad, sad is that if I really don't see my husband at all. But I've already had a feel of his day shift schedule, which was, that one was hard to do when I was working because, um, we were just like both not home. <laughs> so that one was rough. But if he has a day job, if he has a day schedule when I'm not working, he'll be working during the day while I'm home and then I could get readings done and then he'll be home at night. So we'll have night times together, you know, and we have mornings together. So that'll work. The graveyard shift is nice because he's home all day and then he leaves at night. So that would be perfect for us to have time together and do things. Like, I like the graveyard schedule, I just don't like, he's always really tired because this, his sleep schedule is so out of whack. Um, and then the one, the schedule we're gonna get a taste of for a little bit is his morning shifts, and that one is gonna be probably the best one because it's most popular though. I think that he won't be getting morning shifts after his training is done. <laughs> but um, those shifts are 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So he'll be home at by two or three usually he gets home an hour after his shift is over so about three o'clock he'll be home and we'll, he'll be home for dinner every day so that'll probably be the the most ideal the most the best schedule but i don't know i kind of like the graveyard schedule but he thinks chances are he's gonna get day shift when he um completes training so We'll find out. He'll be done with training by February. February 1st, I think. So something like that. Mid-February or something. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, but life has been good. Like, he's happy. I'm happy. My friend was texting me the other day, and she was just telling me, like, you guys have come so far. Like... I remember when you were in your apartment and you guys moved back home. I was so sad. <laughs> and it was just like, we had to have patience. We had to have a lot of patience to like 
get through those times because it was really hard to be a late bloomer, to finally move out of the house, live in my little cozy little two bedroom apartment for two years. And then we made the decision because we could have stayed, we could have stayed in the apartment, but we really, really, really wanted a house. And us being late bloomers, we were already in our thirties. And I was just like, I really would like my own house. And the only way to do it was move back home because my parents gave us that option to move back home and rent free. And um, as long as we're saving our money and all that. And so we were just like, we should just take advantage of it. And we did. And it was the best and most difficult two years. <laughs> it was very challenging living with my parents. Um, but it was worth it. Like when I think about now, like where we're at now, it was worth it. It was worth it to make that sacrifice. Um, it was a big sacrifice because my parents have their very, like they have their own schedule, they have their own lifestyle and their rules. And you know, obviously when you're living in someone else's home, you're abiding by their rules and stuff. And their lifestyle is very different from me and my husband. And so <laughs> it was a little hard. And then it was also hard to do Cackling Moon under wraps. <laughs> So, but we survived and basically we wouldn't have been able to get this house if we hadn't done that. So it was a, a, a temporary sacrifice. Two years went by fast for the most part, but there were times where we were like, we were literally looking around for townhouses <laughs> to rent um, because it got to the point where it was just like, we just couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> Like, even from him, my hubby, like, it was just lack of privacy. And, I mean, for him, for me, it was a little bit easier to adjust living at the house because that's where I grew up in. But for my hubby, it's like it was an alien home. <laughs> like, he'd, he'd never lived with my parents before. And he caught on real quick to the way that they are. So that was, it was just, it was a challenge. It was a challenge. But we did it. So 2020 is like... To me, it's like a year of full circle. To me, it feels like a world, the, like the world card in the tarot. That's what 2020 feels like to me. And I have to calculate my year card. I haven't done that. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to make that another video where I'm going to talk about goals and stuff for 2020. So that's another video I plan on filming. But, oh, excuse me. <laughs> but I should probably end this one and... We'll see. We'll see if I even upload it. It's probably going to be super boring, but it's a video diary. So that's just what's going on in my life right now, you guys. Nothing exciting um, other than, you know, little minor little updates here and there. Um, I'm super excited for this weather, though. Like, I love rainy days, and rainy days in the desert are just so, they're different. They're, it's just different, and it's so peaceful, and it's already naturally quiet up here, but when it rains, it's like even more quiet, and it's just so nice. So I'm looking forward to the rainy days for the next couple days, <clears throat> and if it snows on Christmas, then we will have a white Christmas, and if it snows the next day after Christmas, I won't be going to work because <laughs> there is no way in hell I will be driving in that. Um, after seeing the nightmare of Thanksgiving where people like got stuck on the freeway for 12 hours, I was like, nope. I won't be involved in that. So if it snows on Thursday for my coworkers, if you guys are watching this, I will not be in. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it's not worth it. So, but it's it's only supposed to rain and snow Wednesday and Thursday, and then we're we're back to like cloudy, sunny days. So Saturday I should be in to work. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how Thursday goes. I literally only have three days left of work, you guys. I have Thursday, Saturday, and next Thursday, and that's my last day. So it's literally the last couple days, and it's it's kind of bittersweet because I like my coworkers and I'm gonna miss them. And they're so much they're so much fun. But hopefully they keep me in the group chats that we're in because um, I love to hear updates on how the library is doing. Um, <clears throat> but I am I'm gonna miss them. But I gotta do what I gotta do. And the idea of saving like $300 on gas a month is like, it's nice. <laughs> we have one more $500 gas month. And then hopefully like we'll only be spending like maybe not even $200 on gas, hopefully. Because $500 to $600 a month on gas is just ridiculous. Like 
there's so much more we could be doing with that extra couple hundred a month. And I plan on just throwing that into the, one of our credit cards so we could just pay it off. <laughs> so I can't wait. I just can't wait. And then it's like no more wear and tear on the cars driving so much. Like I just, I'm so ready for it. So yes. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I want to film the weekly energy readings and then I plan on doing some tarot readings and then I also have a video in mind that I want to film. So you'll probably be seeing a lot of action happening on YouTube. So anyways, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.